Hey, and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress Le Relic Mastered. Okay, drinks doing good, food doing good. We are in late summer, 158. Let's see here, I got some stuff queued up to be slaughtered. A couple kittens and puppies. We're starting to get a little bit overloaded here. So we gotta take a look at some of that stuff. Beets, do we want to cook or brew beets? I can't imagine brewing beets would lead to anything good. So we won't do that. <laughs> that could be horrible. Acorns, like we said, we had a dilemma over last time. Pecans, I guess you could cook them. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, we don't want to cook any of the booze, though. Mainly because we want people to have... Holy crap, look how much dwarven wine I have. Yeah, we want to keep all this stuff and the rest of this stuff doesn't matter. Turkey hen eggs, you see in the bottom there, are 36. I just had a Polt explosion. I'm not really sure when that happened. Did that happen in the last episode? I missed the announcement or not? I do not know. But we did have them, so I assigned them to that area and open the door up. So we should be getting more eggs in. Bars. I just want to take a quick look at our bars here. Copper, gold. Alright, there's some things I want to start making with that. Health, I don't really... Eh, I think we're alright there. Uh, justice, same thing. Murder of this guy, the vampire. Alright, so. We're doing the floor here. I might as well let this go. They're still moving garbage up here. Over to this quantum stockpile of garbage that's going to get crushed pretty soon. Unpause here. Um, there goes the farm level. Our entryway, people going in and out, moving products back and forth, back and forth. How wonderful. I think our bridges are, look, are linked up there. I don't know about the surface bridges, though. I don't remember if I did get them. Uh, new bar block stockpiles are now getting filled up. Which reminds me, i got to queue up probably some more... Barrels and bins, as you can see here. They're still working on our well system over here. I'll get to that in a little bit. Food stockpile is actually, we're out of, almost out of space. We really don't even need to be making anything anymore, but uh, probably will. I added a whole bunch of new orders for basically the carpenter and for the mason to do. Mechanisms are getting done, probably. So we hope so. Crap dwarf, I don't really think I need to make anything there. He's got an order for beds, like 20 or 30 beds. I really don't really need to be making those, but who cares? Trap components. I wanted copper, remember? Copper, lards. Oh, what did I do here? I messed up something. I might mess up something. What did I do here? Come on. Metalsmith forge, trap components, copper, large serrated copper disc on repeat till we use up all the copper. They're doing that, and I might as well put charcoal back on repeat again for now. Because they're going to be doing a lot of smelting and making things, which will make weapon traps out of. Buzzsaw people up. That's my favorite thing, buzzsawing people. And glass, I don't care about glass or leather right now. So we'll get out of that menu. Stray cat has been slaughtered. The horror. So I, I signed a lot of stuff here from the... Our, um, furniture stockpile and they get moved to different locations and that should be thinning out a little bit pretty soon because we're adding so much more to it. That bar block one's getting pretty filled up. I guess we still have a cat down here. I just saw a cat. Oh, whatever. It's probably dead soon. Alright, I added some, some sculptures in. Some statues that we had made into our museum slash library. Starting to dismantle a few of the beds here. We really got to get a real dedicated, better looking hospital at some point too, but that's probably not really high on the priority list. Alright, I signed all the bedrooms. I didn't sign specifically two people, but I did make them into bedrooms, so all these things are now, people will now pick their bedrooms. I still have a lot more spaces here, as you can see. We got to get this thing going though. That was for that the military guys that wanted something too. I forgot what they wanted. Uh, we'll look at what he wanted in his room. I'm not really quite sure. Captain of the Guard wants chest cabinet, weapon rack, and armor stand. Probably a good thing we did make those. All right, we have a cabinet. We need a chest, maybe? I don't know. We'll put one in anyway. If we have them. Yes, we do. Hobo tights. We'll give you the nice blue one. There you go. And that whole level's designated to be smooth eventually. 
because of the statues being put into our area here where it's our main dining hall slash tavern. We have lots of people visiting, all of our mugs here on the side. I guess I'm just kind of doing a tour here of what we got going so far. There's all of our pults. So, let's see, build, I think, no, not very own receptacles. Nest boxes, I know we built some. I don't know. That's all I have is one? <laughs> I thought I built more than that. Alright, well, whatever. We have a nest box, probably from one of those caravans that we just looted. Uh, what else do we need to do? How are we doing? Yeah, uh, food and drink going pretty much non-stop. Again, I'll just always queue up that process plants thing. I still actually haven't done anything with that. Uh, let's see, these are going to be our vampire slash wear creature area where we stash people. And I'm eventually going to move that, that vampire up there into this area. But we got to clear out the stone. But before we clear out the stone, we got to do the quantum dump up, up above. So right now it's just going to be, we're just going to leave it here. And they're, apparently they're taking stone from it to make stuff. So that's okay. Um, why don't we just knock out this wall here? It doesn't make much sense to have that. Yeah, I was thinking like, all right, we're not smelting any more native copper. That's fine. All right, so let's see here. We'll keep going here. This is our well. It's going to be a very big well. So the miners, we have a new miner now. Remember, he's not going to be as fast as our other miner. So got to cut him a little slack. Apparently they're leaving stuff all over the place here. It's not good. There's a method to my madness. Now I know exactly what I'm doing with that, that well, so I won't worry too much about it. And that's all been assigned, and uh, they're finally getting down here. Look at that. We're going to tap back into the cave system. Maybe some of our starving people that are in there, starving animals, will come in. And some of our monster slayers that are sitting around doing nothing but drinking up all my booze are going to go out there and start earning their, their pay. I don't know. Unfortunately, that will lead to a lot of our people going in there picking up the corpses of the things that we were slaughtering. So I'm not sure that's a very good idea, but eh, what are you going to do? We'll kind of let that go. Our frame rate is dropping. As you see, we're, at six, we're in the 60s right now. And I think the rest of this it just goes down a long ways until we get that other cavern system, which didn't have much in it. So, just go back to the surface and kind of let this all go. Now, I want to assign squads to this here frickin' uh, surface practice area. Alright, we will assign it. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing here, buddy? should be to the peaks of bolting, right? Individual equip, train. Well, it'll be for training. Equipping, no. Hopefully they'll carry their stuff on them. And I set up a schedule so like they're on some months and off other months, so and only seven need to show up. So I think we're okay there. I think we are good. So a lot of this is just now the waiting game. I want to see them dump the rest of this crap. Uh, Marshall Trance, that's good. I guess they're training now. <laughs> I only see one guy there doing a Marshall Trance, so what's going on? Right, what was that announcement? Troglodyte, yeah. Because now we got people down here gathering up the refuse, so... This is not good. I don't know how many Monster Slayers I got. See, this, is, this was just a really bad idea to, to, to tap into this. Great! One of my guys just died. I see a corpse there. Wonderful. Was that a troglodyte that got killed there, or what? Dead or missing. No, I guess not, because it would have been on top of the list. 
All right, well, this actually isn't a good thing. <laughs> Why did I do this? Why? I mean, this is dumb. I mean, I don't know why I tapped into this again. I, I should not have done that. Because all they're going to do is go in there and slaughter things, and all my people go, oh, we got to dump that stuff. And that's not good. This is just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> this is just stupid of me. Damn, why did I do that? I really should just block it off again, right? I mean, have I not learned my lesson after how many times now? Look at that. Limbs all over the place. Dead troglodytes there. Things I gotta get brought in over here. More stuff over there. One of my guys just got injured apparently doing some of this stuff. Wounds. Holy crap. Wow. What the hell happened to you? Yeah. This is what I mean. This is the bull crap I'm talking about. Yeah, I was gonna pause here and let things go for a bit, but we're gonna we're gonna lock things up here. Um let's see. Military alerts. Bam. You guys go in. And we're gonna have to close that off again. I just I thought maybe this would this could work out, but apparently not. It just isn't gonna happen. The monster hunters can do what they want to do. Yeah, I know, guys. I know. Okay, so our dudes are like, they're trying. That's why I get all these cancellation messages. I just want to wait till everyone gets in to the fort. And this guy over here, he got injured. Ankle, some minor damage. We also notice that our frame rate's now at 40s since we've opened up this cave system. So that's not good either. Are you coming in, my friend? Come in from the rain. Come in from the rain. Okay, so we were so rudely interrupted by the change of seasons, apparently. I'm going to basically define this burrow to include some of the areas that I want to basically wall off, which I guess we'll just do it right from here. What is your freaking problem, dude? Just go in. You're hungry because you're not walking into my freaking fort here. Why? This is going to pick him up. Yeah, he's he's pretty badly injured, I guess. All right. So, build. I'm going to build a wall right here out of that piece of gabbro that's just sitting there. I think everyone's in that's going to be in. And once that's done, we're, we're cooking with butter, I think. Then we'll get rid of this freaking burrow alert thing, and we should be all right. I hope so. <laughs> Military alerts. Burrow off. Build C wall. I know I'm, I'm doing an extra wall here. So it makes no sense, but I'm gonna. Oh, look at that. A kobold trying to sneak into my fort through the well system. You little scum. You little scum. Alright, DH. Channel down all this, baby. Except for that one little area there. There you go. Now, while you're fishing, I don't know. I usually don't have people fishing. Where did that kobold go? I don't see. I don't know. I don't know where I went to. Maybe he got killed. Actually, let's take a quick look at that. Troll did. I don't know, I don't know where the kobold went. He must have got out of there real quickly. I guess we're doing a lot of, like, wood hauling crap. So I think I'm just going to pause here. Like I said, finally, I think we're kind of getting ahead of the game here. Be right back. All right, we are back. It looks like we have our caravan, the dwarven caravan. Apparently, that didn't glitch out totally from last time. We don't need a whole lot, but I guess we'll trade anyway. So, we want the trader and we'll move goods in. Probably the same thing. We'll do trap components. And this is mainly just for bars and blocks, but anything else that we can get is probably like butter, you know? Any cool other cool things. I Hopefully, they won't glitch out this time around. I don't know. 
So our guys are still practicing out here on the surface. That's pretty good. Um, I allocated a lot of things to get done. We got barrels and bins on repeat once more. So we'll wait for a guy to get up here now. Where are we at? He's eating. Food is completely filled. Oh, we got our little meeting here. There's much. Okay, all right. We got a bunch of new information for that screen. Again, I only really care about metal bars. So, silver. We got a lot of that stuff. Steel. Electrum's worth a lot. Where am I missing platinum here? There you are at the bottom. <laughs> there you are. Okay. We got enough for everything else. I don't care about anything else. So unfortunately we're using this way to get in and out of the fort, and that's not good. I want to get this kind of uh, finished here. Yeah, I don't want them using the well to get in and out of the fort. They're doing the last level of that well. If I can get down there. Yeah, it's the last level. So once that's done, we can start doing some work in there. But we gotta pull. I want to pull out all that stone. I think I, I, I still like the idea of keeping it. It's scabro. I know it's really not that great, but get it all in a quantum stockpile. It'll be good for us in a later point in time. All right, are you up there yet, man? I'm gave you a lot of opportunity. Now he's drinking. No, don't drink. Why for you do that? That's a very big vulnerability into our fort too. Uh. You know what? Maybe I better floor over that until we're ready to do this. Yeah, I I think so. So we're gonna floor over it with something colorful that I can see. A cinnabar block. There you go. Until we're ready to tap into the water and set up that whole system. Migrants have arrived. All right. Let's just see. Did you get up here yet? He's trading at depot. We will. Let it go, we'll do the trade session, then we'll stop and do it with the migrants. Come on, get up to the trade center. You're almost there. I know you're almost there. I think that's him. There we go. Trading time. Alright, like I said before, we'll just we'll pick out what we want. We have now we have more money than we know what to do with. Unfortunately, they didn't bring that much this time. I think because we, we didn't trade with them last time, because they had to bypass our site, our inaccessible site. And that was un that was unfortunate. So I don't think really really need too many in the way of ropes and stuff, but super cheap ropes like this. Oh, water skin. Yeah, we're not gonna need a whole lot. I mean, I don't really care about the barrels of booze. We got tons of booze. Hey, how about you know, iron? Is that a copper pick here? I saw a pick. No, all right. You know, I could actually just buy clothing. Like that. A leather dress. Sure, why not, man? Yeah, more than we know what to do with it. People are starting to lose their clothing now. So, yeah. Two more socks. Everyone loves socks. Don't care about the armor. Well, maybe I should pick up the steel armor. I see, huh? Oh, wait, gypsum plaster. You know, I don't think I brought any of that. We, we're probably going to need that for casts and stuff. I know some people got injured. I have no clue what happened to that one guy. I should probably take a look at it. Take some steel gauntlets there, whatever those are. I really didn't pay much attention to my... Uh, to my military when I sent them up, so I don't really know. Let's do the second gypsum plaster bag. Clothing, leather bin, leather, plus the cloth is cheap anyway, so what the hell. Uh, we could pick up these steel anvils just to melt them down later on, but nah, I'm not going to pick up any food. We are filled up with food. Yeah, even the good stuff, I'm not even going to get any of it. All right, okay, let's see here, thread. Let's bring up the trousers. Yeah, sure. Uh, what else? Red and yarn. Red. Sure. 
All right, now we need. Uh, no, I'm not going to even. Go, I'm not even going to get cheese. I know. Now we, let's see here. We, the books. That's the stuff I'm really looking at. A copy of this one. That one. What is that thing? I can't even tell what the hell that is. That's yeah, only twenty. Pick it up. Well, some of these are musical instruments. Yeah, what the hell? Pick them up anyway. A hive? Nah, I never do anything with the bee stuff. Codex. Codex. Parchment sheets. Sure, why not? All of them. Yeah, it's all the colors of the rainbow. Okay, there we go. So we're only buying $7,000 worth of stuff, so... So that's probably... will probably take that, right? Trade. It's ecstatic, of course. And I'm going to give a little bit to the mountain home. I'm going to give a lot to the mountain home. <laughs> there you go. That's still the guy. We need, no more trading is needed here. What was I doing? I was going to do migrants. All right. Pausing. Rewrite right back. All right. We're back. Unpause. Let it go. Probably going to be uh, ending the episode here soon anyway. Not much going on. Just sort of want to make sure that one thing gets floored over there. Where where are you? Looks like we're waiting on it here. And the main reason for this is a lot of people are coming out to get food. Or get water. And we really just need to, yeah, let's see, there you go. I can't go in there now. Why'd you do that? <laughs> you saw I was going to that hole. You saw I was clubbing it up. So you get the hell out of here, boy. All right. Everyone's throwing up. I said I was going to set up some sort of a thing up on, on the surface, wasn't I? Build a statue. There you go. Set up some sort of a meeting area up here. Actually, yeah, why, why not? It'll be M. The only problem with that is if something pops onto the screen and we need to get them below ground, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. But we do have our military right there, so... Oh yeah, I did move like some of my... I got uh, some floodgates being made, some hatch covers, and grates. Oh, was that great? I don't know. I moved some of the, the stuff out of the other furniture stockpile and, and into here, just so I could see them and clear up a few spots here. What is that thing? A bookcase. All right, I, I forgot. I made a few wooden bookcases also. Bill, now where's the wooden bookcases here? Um, ah, of course. <laughs> They're a little different thing there, buddy. All right, a couple there. Display furniture hive. All right, well, let's, let's let that go. So how are we doing here? So I say I allocated a lot of these things to be dumped earlier, and now we got more broken clothing here. Typically, I just bought some broken clo some new clothing. They probably throw in their broken clothing onto the ground. That's another thing that they will do. Usually in their rooms. So we got like three levels here we haven't even used yet. Yes, I did assign that that um, captain of the guard here. Our vampire's down here. He's all sad and stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm upset, man. I'm upset. Well, that's too freaking bad, man. That's what you get. That's what you get for biting my people, bro. All right, what was that? Something collapsed on the surface. What was that about? Yeah, a tree. What? Did someone get hurt? Is that why? He's got a little uh, down arrow here, so he's stressed. All right, I don't understand why that was. Maybe he just got a little bit. I don't know. I don't, I don't really get it. Whatever. Uh, what is this thing here? I'm just kind of curious. A buzzard corpse. Where we're gonna reclaim that that arrow and that one too. So we still got the buzzards flying around, giving us problems. Now I know I can make like a statue garden, right? Statue garden. Let's 
So that's just like, um, do I have to assign a location to it? I don't think so. I don't know. Either way, it's some place for people to go to look at statues and get out on the surface and get all way get get the cave adaptation out of their out of their brain or something, you know. I don't know. We spooked our woodcutter. I guess maybe that the tree falling down was a big tree and it kind of spooked him or something. I don't know. Maybe that's what that was all about. It doesn't look like. Oh, wait a minute. You know what it was? It was probably that that right there. Plus, what is that? Bronze bolt. All right, uh, there's water there. That's why. So, right under this tile here should be a floor, right? Cinnabar block floor. All right. I just wanted to make sure. I thought maybe something was going on there. Maybe there is. I don't know. Criminal. Who's this? That's our guy. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute. What is this? View unit. Kills. Well, he's killed some goblins. Well, his wife is here. <laughs> my, my husband's a my husband's a, a crook or whatever. He's had no health problems. Thoughts. So this up finished up some work. Very satisfying. I was. What does that actually mean? Uh, Again, some sort of an argument. Grouchy. Well, I don't really know. What is this guy's name? Mukun Gillogax or something. I'm gonna pause the video and check out on his dwarf therapist thing real quick. All right, I don't really quite know what to make of that. That's a little weird. If anyone knows anything about the criminal thing? <laughs> People actually having it as a, an occupation. Vampire we already know about. Chief medical dwarf should be. Well, he's always gonna have, never have a job. Trader probably. Right, I think we're okay. Still, still have a few monster slayers here. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. That is none of his his skills looked like they were like criminal skills. But then again, none of the skills are like criminal skills. I don't know how he got that title. It's a little weird. He said he had the potential to be a good spear dwarf or something. Like at was that seventy something percent, which means I probably should put him in the military and put him in a spear squad. He seems to have an aptitude for that. But other than that, it's not not much going on. With him. At any rate, our dudes are getting ready. Or you know, what is this guy? He's the captain of the guard. I was wondering because he had a little special, uh, special thing here. He's not happy. He doesn't have a dining room. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't give you that in your room, man. I, I guess I'll go down there and set up a dining room for you in that place. Thankfully, I have actual stuff to put in there. Wait, let's put it right there. There you go. I hope, you, I hope you're happy now. We won't be happy until I sign it to him, but he that's something. There you go. Make this a throne room. And make this your dining hall. And there you go. You should be all set, man. So our military people doing all their stuff. We want to get the vampire down to that area. See, the problem is we're still waiting on stuff to get dumped from the dump thing. We're just not doing a whole lot of dumping on the surface here. I could just, like, stop the dumping of stuff and pull this lever. Hope for the best. Hopefully there's no dwarves under it. <laughs> now I want to give them a little more time. They seem to be more preoccupied with moving this wood down below, so that's fine for now. Which probably reminds me, I'm not sure that one guy that was doing that stuff on repeat, the barrels and the bins are starting to catch up. Probably don't need the barrels anymore. Bins. 
We're not going to do them on repeat, but we are going to do another stack of them here. Just to fill out that one stockpile. Now the mason's not doing anything, but we don't really need any more blocks. So just do some doors. Whole line of them. I think we're pretty good here. He's doing large serrated discs. They're melting other stuff down. I don't know where we're at on charcoal. So we keep doing that. Look at the stocks. Where we got here? Bars, bars, where are we? Bars. Where are the charcoal? We only got 18 charcoal. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to keep going with the charcoal. Alright, well, I mean, I guess nothing else is happening. I'm going to end this episode. I think we went on long enough. I'm kind of running out of time here to record, but we got all these large serrated copper discs. We started making weapon traps. Wow, those, I used to really like making those. And, uh, yeah, okay, I'll see you guys next time. Adios, folks.